Is the music not really going through? Too long. We got blue. We got. Oh man, it's purple. Okay, so purple. We got white. We have red. Which person might be better? Oh, we look good on stream, actually. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep it. I feel like Tony's trying. I don't know. I just feel like Tony's like. <clears throat> Let me just make sure my chat stuff is together because I did do something. <laughs> and I'm just testing. Hi. Yeah, okay, it works. <laughs> yeah. So I need to tell my moderator I'm streaming just in case you don't have notifications. But you know what I mean? Uh. Did I not pick the cab? It's just a I'll just run. Because why not? How do I jump again? How do I jump? How do I jump? Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <laughs> Which house do you want? Each one I don't get is to entirely this. unique. But, also the same. Excuse Landon, me. you did go live. <laughs> hey. Yeah. So, I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. Can and we... if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Oh, this is Channel 5. You write your name here. And, uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. Give me that. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Mm, I'm, Sir? I'm thinking Good to meet you. Um, we'll be heading up to the Manzanita Post. stream after Why? I finish. Streaming this because I don't know what else to stream. Yeah, so they say. You Give me suggestions. Yes, sir, eh? we're ready. Good. Because you're about to get muting stream for now. Cuss in playing guitar with a friend. I know old Neil's real well. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Let's go buy us some tools. Oh, okay. Just, you know, give me some suggestions. I need suggestions of games. I know the quickest way. Follow me. I need I need game suggestions. And R N if you want, honey. 
end right if you now. want. End right now. What do you mean end right now? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, hey, why are you getting so aggressive? Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I uh, think a bit of both for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. When if you I want to end, do I T. If I want I to Charles end, Smith. end if one, and end one. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now suppose you don't. You're not making sense. What did I say to end? I said I don't know what to stream after this. Can you give me a suggestion? Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns behind. And they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they End take stream. guns, I mean they're carrying no. some valuable it's in the stream instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. The, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <laughs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon, but I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun, but it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Now, I was about to tell you. This is when I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? <clears throat> now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not I sure how much this. English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. But she's gonna say okay. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. Hello, who is this man? So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Oh! 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 Everyone find some cover! Yeah. No, no, One bit. 
They're coming out of the woods. We'll get you out of here. Goddamn bastards. They're on the other side. Okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the weapons. Charles, come on! I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. All right. Shit. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Shit. Let's go. Hey, I was standing there with Mr. Wayne when he was down. How did they get to him? He was there. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Scared. Everyone knows. Except me. Charles! 
You all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he? Is it? Bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. <laughs> Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Good Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. No, you want to know about it. You want me to know about Come on, we gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Okay, John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? Slow down, John. It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, 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 Uncle! You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. John? <laughs> Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. <laughs> Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> But I'll tell you what. Bye bye. Just to be safe. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll do the reading and planning. Bye bye. You do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now that is plain unfair. It it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. She get on with this.
saw in a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter what the weather, we're together. I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John.
Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Hello. Yeah, it's me again. <laughs> Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin' so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. I can't see the storm. In the black water. Let's go. This fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. This is him. And how are we?
we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer at I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... you got any work? kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a mex- Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo guy. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're in line, you should take a look. Slow it down! You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched it bark the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! 
John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. This is Painted Sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Oi. Hello. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly and no- You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rogues. Rogues? It's different there now. up here. Come on. What's your setup spec? What do you mean my setup spec? I don't have a PC. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Hello? Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. How are you playing then? How am I playing? I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill on, that on bitch. PS5. Two hundred! Three hundred for her head. Be quiet. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this. I wish I could donate a few big ones. Sadly, I'm broke. That's okay. Good job. I'm getting a phone call. Um, I'm gonna go meet.
you in a call.